Hello everyone, hello to all of you at the historical high school of Rome. Really nice to see you all today. My name is Heidi Silvestre. I am a French glaciologist, which means that I study snow and ice in connection with climate change. And I'm speaking to you today from Svalbard, from an archipelago that is between the north of Norway and the North Pole. This is the northernmost community on Earth. And today is about minus, uh, minus 11, minus 15 degrees. Um, and we have these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful February lights that shows us that the sun is coming back up here in the Arctic. Today's a special day, as you know, and I wanted to especially greet all the girls and women at the historical high school of Rome and encourage all of you, the pupils, the students, to be curious about your environment and to get into the field of STEM. This is what I did. Uh, I've always been fascinated by nature, by extreme environments, and I decided to pursue a career in the world of research. And today I work for the Arctic Council, for the working group AMAP, the Arctic Monitoring and Assessment Program. And in my day-to-day -day life, I try to coordinate all climate research in the Arctic with my fantastic team and to communicate this work to the governments of the Arctic. So happy International Women's Day to you all and uh, lots and lots of hugs from the archipelago of Svalbard in the Arctic. Bye-bye. So today as a researcher and as a coordinator of projects looking at climate impacts in the Arctic, I'm very lucky to be able to say that I am working with bright and brilliant female scientists and female project coordinators uh, that never cease to amaze me. And perhaps I should tell you about my last uh, expedition that actually took place up here on the archipelago of Svalbard between Northern Norway and the North Pole. Last year, with my project Climate Sentinels, we actually skied over 450 kilometers, crossing a big part of the main island of the archipelago of Svalbard to investigate the deposition of black carbon, of black soot, black particles that are traveling from very far away and can land in these environments, making the snow and ice melt even faster. For this project, was, my team was made of incredible and pretty badass female scientists. There was uh, Nina Adjanin, Anna Elena Flink, Celia Smith Johnson, and myself. And I think the fact that we were a group of female scientists really got us out of a, a lot of trouble because we were not uh, shy of expressing our emotions and we had to face uh, really extreme and distressing conditions. And, and I think by having a team with um, absolutely no egos and, um, and a team that was extremely passionate about this work, uh, we were able to complete and successfully uh, manage this uh, research expedition. 